did you say? Goodbye, Millie. What did you say? We're not going to do this. What did you say? I said there was nothing left for you to take. What have I taken from you, Fitz? Everything there is, everything I had. You name it. How do you do that? How do you talk yourself into believing anything you want to believe, convince yourself that you are completely blameless in every situation? What kind of messed up cognitive processes go on in that tiny little head of yours to make all that happen? You think it's scientific? Did you get it from your daddy? Something passed on from one grant to the next? I wish I could do that. I wish I were wired that way. We're done here. No, I want to hear it. I want to hear how you think this is my fault. Tell me, Fritz. Tell me about all the damage I've caused. Oh, that's right, baby. Take another sip. We're just getting started. The damage you have caused is irreparable. Is it? This ridiculous investigation, these laborious proceedings, this fabricated marriage I'm about to enter with the only woman I have ever loved, all of this is on you, Millie. Oh, I don't think so. Who went to those senators and voted to impeach? Who got up on that stand and lied through her teeth? Who kicked me out of this place like I was yesterday's trash? You mean when you went around on my back and sent those jurors to their deaths? Don't you dare try to pin that on me again. You did that. What I have been forced to do. Oh, let's talk about messed up cognitive processes and convincing yourself to be completely blame-free, Melly. Enlighten me. What I have been forced to endure. You have blood on your hands. In an effort to protect you. Every imaginable scenario, they all end with you, Fitz. Don't you get it? You are the common denominator here. You are the root cause of everything. I would still have my dignity if it wasn't for you. I would still have my career if it wasn't for you. Those jurors would still be alive if it wasn't for you. I would have gotten to see Jerry attend his senior prom if it wasn't for you. I wouldn't have had to bury my baby if it wasn't for you. I wouldn't have even had kids. I wouldn't have married you. I wouldn't have forced myself to stomach you and your disgusting father lying on top of me. I would have had something, been something, done something. I wouldn't have wasted 20 years propping you up, making you feel okay about your pathetic mediocrity, petting you and applauding you. My life would have meant something if it wasn't for you. Goodbye, Fitz. Melly. 